And stars. Let's go. What up? What's up? Let me move y'all a little closer. Come join. Let's go. Like, subscribe, and comment. <laughs> What's up? Y'all ready for an hour of Savage Talk? Told y'all we was coming. We're going to chill for a minute. Let a couple of y'all get in here before we really get into it. We got a big season to talk, right? For real. We got a big season to talk? Yes, sir. Less, less than 24 hours <laughs> in the game. Come on, yo! Yeah, I need the comments. Hold on, I got the lab right here. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read y'all comments as you're talking. You, you see here. what Kansas City look like? We, we ain't scared oh. nobody. We ain't scared oh. of nobody. You see what the AFC, the NFC look like last year? Gonna be a little different this year, though. I will say that. Big Doody Lou. All right. So we plan on doing this often, guys. I know we've been slacking with going live and a whole lot, a lot of personal stuff going on. But y'all see, we don't slack on this page. We keep bringing y'all content. I want to introduce you first to my man, A.O. Philly Boy. A.O. Philly Boy 17. Let's go. I want to introduce y'all. probably already know this, man. This man is heavy in the Eagles groups and pages. This man been putting in work for years. I, when I say years, I mean years, all right? This is one of my closest friends, CJ, right here. And this man bleeds fucking green. I promise you, he bleeds green, all right? Now, we're going to get it in here. We're not going to try to act like we're on ESPN or FS1 or none of that, all right? We're going to talk to you as fans just like you guys are fans. So, with that said, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. CJ. What's up? What is going to be our record at the end of the year? I say 12-5. and 12-5. Anthony, Ayo, what's going to be our record at the end of the year? With Jalen Hurts being healthy all 17 games? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking you a question. You got I'm not going in the 15 between. and 2. 15 and 2, okay. I'm going to be in the middle. I'm going to say 13 and uh, 4. 13 and 4 is a 17 game season right now. Yeah. I like our team. I like the team. I feel like there are some spots maybe with the defensive line where I know Jalen Carter and I the know I know Nolan Smith are gonna bring their pain. But we have to remember we still lost Javon Hargrave. I know we're all excited. We're all excited. Jalen Carter is bringing the pain, and I do think he will. Nolan Smith gonna bring it. I think he will. But are they gonna bring it immediately? It's gonna take time for them to grow. It's yeah, going to be going 70, on. So we had 70 sacks last time, bro. year. Even if we have 15 less sacks. So you still got mad sacks. We got 15 <laughs> less sacks. We had Carr gave 10 sacks out of it. We have 60 sacks last year. Still number one. Well, yeah, it's going to take some yeah. time. Got, oh, well, we good. They got to grow. They got to grow. It is, it is. Jalen right. Carter's so better than Hargrave. They're going to have to grow. Jalen Carter is better than Hargrave. No, no, no. All right, all right. All right. You know I'm what? not going there that's yet. Over, that's an overreaction right now. That is. No, that no, is. Some no, overreaction. Hargrave. Right that's yeah, I got to see him. He did yeah, he looked impressive in preseason, but we got to see what he done tomorrow. He did. Hargrave did have 10 plus sacks. Hargrave did have 10 plus sacks. Hargrave, yeah, Hargrave, you know, we weren't going to overpay him. Hargrave. Yeah, he wanted to money. You know, your boy Howie got smart. Howie. He drafted his replacement. Howie! But it's going to take some they time used to, They used to he hate Howie. They twice. used to hate Howie. I All named right, my cat right, Howie. Howie. I, have, I don't have the cat anymore, but I had a cat, and I named him Howie because that was my love of a <laughs> love he session. He wasn't pussy no. when Chip Kelly was there. That's cool, Chip Kelly. Yeah, I'm sure with the best words. You know, we on Facebook. You already know we're on Facebook, and they don't let us talk how we want to talk. But Howie has done an amazing job, and I have no doubt in my mind that Howie no. has done the right thing with drafting Jalen Carter and doubling down on Nolan Smith, both Georgia Bulldogs. Yo, and the way he, like, we're, 
worth the contracts too. Yeah. Oh Jordan my Davis. God. Jordan the Davis contracts. Too. Jordan the way Davis he, too. he, he works Jordan Davis. Contracts, you will right? not find a better GM in the NFL that will deliver better contracts than Howie Rose. Look what just happened on the 49ers. They're all copying him now, but they're not doing yeah. it look, as look, good look, as look he does. Look what just happened on the 49ers. He signs Jalen Hurts, and then in two months, Jalen Hurts becomes the highest paid person to like the eighth highest paid person. Yep, yep, yep. In like yep. two months, and he, he found, found the and highest paid player. He found a way to wiggle it. He found a way to wiggle it. You're right. The eighth highest paid player. So he didn't pay now. everybody else. He, he found gets, a way to wiggle it. He gets ahead of the market. He gets ahead of the market. Now, but look what just happened on the 49ers. What? Overpaid the fuck out of us. Pay the man $34 they million. They ain't going to be able to keep everybody. You're not going to tell me. You're not a game changer. You're not, not going to tell me. No, they pay that man quarterback money. You got to be a game changer. You have to change games. You have to I mean, he's good. He's good, yeah, he's but what good. did what did Lane what did he do with Lane? Lane what did he do with ball. Lane? What did Lane he do with Lane? Two players Lane Lane Johnson Lane made that, that ball, man, man laid down. Pay the Lane. Ball. Pay the Lane. You're gonna pay a man thirty four million dollars. And it wasn't just Lane. It was Jordan Malata oh, also. Yeah. Jordan Malata said, You ain't doing nothing. Definitely on what the are run you doing block here? On the run you wanna go left side? You wanna go to the right side? What do you wanna do? On the run block. Yo, you know what we really need to talk about right now? Let's talk about DeAndre Swift trying to be a wide receiver right now. You notice that? DeAndre Swift is known for catching passes. Yeah, that is, people, yes, he is a running back, but DeAndre Swift will kill you with that little dump off to the left or to the right. He will kill you with it. And that is the we one. Gotta call it that. Uh, listen, I'm not a betting expert, okay? I'm not going to act like, <clears throat> even though I got some big hits. But if I would say there's one bet I feel extra comfortable about, I would go on FanDuel and I would go, or any of the, the betting apps, and I would bet DeAndre Swift over 14 and a half yards receiving. They have him at 14 and a half. That's a I, play. And it is That's raining. Play. It's supposed to be raining tomorrow. It's supposed to be thundering. It's going to be You're telling RPO me is going to be Jalen is not going to dump the Swift, ball off to this Swift man is so and big. get some yards? He's so big. Yo, his I vision is, 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 is so incredible. Big, his vision is incredible. It is. He's so big and powerful. I was like, God, I thought he was like a scat bag. He might be a little upgrade over the bottom He can move a loose. He can move a He went healthy. He's uh, upgraded within Miles Sanders, but Miles Sanders last year, at least he was, I love, I love he was the number one. I love Miles Sanders. He was Sanders. the number one last yeah, but year. He, he, yeah, he did, but he, he was the number hurt. one last year. You know, kept fumbling the ball a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But look yeah, what happened last year. He, he didn't fumble a lot. But he had some big moments right. with fumbles. And, like, you know, you are, no, I'm a big Miles Sanders fan, yeah. but after a while, you got to admit, like, they kept taking him out every third down. Every third down, it seemed like they, they kept the taking board. Miles Sanders out. You know, you know, but this thing is, this is the thing. Doug Peterson value. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sirianni, oh, really. Sirianni doesn't value. Really. Yeah, no, no, no. I agree. I agree. Sirianni doesn't value. That him. was Dougie B. That's all Dougie B. Yeah, right that was Dougie B. Sirianni was like, ah, I fuck with you. But, but not, not too tough to put you on a third down. Yeah. They never really made Miles Sanders run out and be a wide receiver and hit. It was never. I mean, no, 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 no. I guess they Back in Doug, Doug Peterson, when Doug Peterson was, yeah, yeah they made him like a wide receiver. I'm talking about the last couple but of last years. But the last couple of years, yeah. Because sure they needed him as a number one running back, running the ball, not catching yeah, it. Because yeah. we already had catches with Dane Well and Scott. The crazy thing was, uh, Miles Sanders' rookie year with us. He had the most overall yeah, yards. That's crazy. All purpose Between, yards. Between, yeah, all purpose yards. He had the most all purpose yards. And then it was like, like catches, right? yeah, yeah, it was like his, his passes yards. and his catches went down after his rookie year. Now, I don't know how much of that had to be Carson just wasn't delivering a simple screen, right? Dougie <laughs> but did, it was a different offense. It Sirianni definitely was there. It was definitely, completely different offense. Yeah, it was a completely different, different offense. offense, too. Sirianni was there. Trying to click on the live Dougie video. Dougie P made here sure that the running now. backs got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they got but Dougie P made yeah. sure he ran plays just for the running backs. It was like Sirianni's offense is a little bit, just a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. It was. It was, man. Um, but I will have to say, I want to see what happens with his linebacker position. Yeah, head. yeah, yeah. That and because usually we don't yeah. really value linebackers. No. But we'll see what he got with Nicole Dean and um. We got so lucky last year that I like Nicole. Yeah, no, I, I, like, I, like, I like I like Dean. I think Dean is gonna be a staple here for at least a few years. Hopefully more. What team both of your starting linebackers stay healthy the whole year? All the way up to the Super Bowl. That don't happen nowhere. Well, it happened last year for us. Yeah, it don't happen we nowhere. Got, we got lucky last year so with the So we didn't health. get to see Dean at all. Like, we didn't no, really Dean wasn't hurt. Dean wasn't no, hurt. No, Dean was coming when we were 
Put he team was, away. But he was putting teams away. That's the only time we saw him come out. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. Seen that's, all, come that's out. the only time we saw him come out. You really never like other Mike, than that. Mike and what's his name really never missed no games. Uh, with the biggest, with the biggest factor with Dean is definitely his size. Yeah, that's his the thing. size. He's gonna be he the fight. Like he's safety, gonna be the middle linebacker. Like playing with middle we need linebacker. help. Juan Luis Rodriguez, we need help. Sign a vet linebacker. Are we all, I'm sorry. I know we're not reading your comments yet. Usually we're not. What's that dude? Cunningham? Zach Cunningham and the Cook. And I think that he odds, dude. dude. That dude for the Steelers. And we got the I third, think we might guy, put him the third guy is Christian Ellis. They, I, they said he was killing it. Dude. Christian <laughs> Ellis has looked good. Watch and out. I would not be surprised if he's a starting linebacker. Midway through the season, as long as you know, God forbid, he doesn't get Dean hurt. and Ellis, not the cutting and whatever his name. Well, is. it could be Dean and Ellis. It could be Dean and Cunningham. Yeah, I, they, it could I be mean, and, 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 and we got to see how it shakes up. But one thing I do know about Sean Desai, I don't know a lot about this defensive coordinator that we yeah. have, but yeah, I've yeah. done a little research, and one thing I do know is he likes to bring pressure with linebackers. That is his thing. That is, he does play conservatively. He does loose in the corners. That's what he does do. But one thing I do know about him is he likes to rush linebackers. Look at the defenses as he's all been a part of. That's been his shtick. So yeah. if he's going to trust these guys, he's going to trust them. To listen, you're going to sell like out a little bit on the soul, on, on the coverage, but I need yeah. you to help the front line get pressure. Get pressure. Get this quarterback off his rock. Because our what our running defense wasn't that good last year. Our running no. defense wasn't that good. <laughs> it was horrible. No. Compared to Eagles. Look, look, yeah, look what happened when we played the Lions on the first week. Yeah, they DeAndre Swift ate us. Ate us. That first play, the first play. DeAndre Swift had me angry. But then I realized Jordan, they, Jordan Davis is a run stopper. He's a run he stopper. Yeah, yeah. He's, more and more. But you gotta let him grow. You gotta let him grow too. Oh, I hear you, John. It's true. The camera adds ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even flexing out. <laughs> let's see your pictures, big boy. Let's, okay, let's see let's yours. Talk about uh, safeties now. Safeties. That's okay. what I said. That the dude from the Steelers might play a little bit of linebacker. He's kind of big. The Iman dude or whatever his name is. Edmund. Edmund, the dude oh, from yeah. the Steelers. We picked. Yeah, up. I, I like him. I wanted to keep CJ. Don't get me wrong. I wanted to keep him. He, yeah, he, yo, he looked crazy. Yo, CJ looked look good. good. CJ looked good. This is good. not the same Detroit. Yeah. This is not the same Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, this is not the same Detroit. I really Detroit. wanted him so good. I wanted to good. keep him so bad. He looked good. God damn, he looked good. God damn, he looked good. That boy good. was getting interceptions almost every game. Damn, he looked good. The only thing you he got injured like what? Well, he, he it was the last four or five games last season. Yeah, it was against the Packers. He missed last like five games last season. But all the games he was in, he was getting the pick. That shit was crazy. Led the the what the led the league in picks in five yeah. games. Yeah. <laughs> that shit crazy, but. I, I wish he had six interceptions. I wish him well, though. I wish we could have well. paid him a little bit more, Howie. I don't no, know. No, no, no. You Howie. know, it's funny with that one, but well, we Detroit, wish you nothing but Detroit, the best. Detroit, Detroit did not give this man a long term contract. Yeah, they didn't give it. He did. He's on his one he, deal, and then maybe. Blame yeah, his agent for that one. He got blame his agent for that one. Yeah, he did. But he might agent, he, he don't come back to the his Eagles. His agent right? gagged him. Yo, he gagged him. Gag Eagles live rent free in this house. How do you have a mul- How do you have a multi year offer? How do you have a multi year offer? Just had six turned things down, made it to the. But you turned down for a one because you want to continuously bet on yourself. The problem with CJ was they didn't know if they valued him as a nickel corner or a uh, safety. safety. You know, so are we, both for real. Yeah, are we gonna pay you as a safety or are we gonna pay See, you? It's similar as a like when Malcolm order. Jenkins when he was with us. You know what I'm saying? He could he could have he could have him all over the field. Yeah, that's yeah. a good thing. Uh, I great. like You're CJ. Right. I don't like Very how I don't like how he acted afterwards when they asked him what was the worst thing about Philadelphia. And he said the people, they're ignorant assholes. All right, mad, whatever. Mad. You're mad, bro, you know, because there's a clip, you know, there's a clip of you before the Super Bowl, the and they asked you if you would like to come back to Philadelphia. Of course. And CJ said, who would not who want to come back See, to man. Philadelphia? Man like, caught a, the man caught a case of liabilities, man. Like, he lying, come on. He lying, he lying. Come he on, lying. CJ, with he that. He got that. He got that. How he F- F CJ, F him, we off of that. Let's talk about Sidney Brown and Reed Blankenship. I heard something. What, what are we going to do with these guys? Are, we, are they our guys? 
Blanket ship is. They say it's in the They need to get rid of wallets. I'm tired of seeing wallets. No, no, they got rid of them. We got rid of them. We got rid of them. They got rid of them. And the Cardinals just picked them up. So who was the I'm about to look up the. The Cardinals got one. Came out Wallace. Yeah. Philadelphia Eagles hitting dirty man around. Freaking Gannon. Oh, man. Let's talk about Gannon. Oh, I don't want to talk about him. Yeah, I don't want to talk about him. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We're going to talk about him because he just made a statement. Gannon just, they, they, asked, they asked Jonathan Gannon. You know, he was talking about all his Eagles experience and adding one with the Cardinals, right? And he said that it was his decision. Because you remember, we watched that game together, the Raiders did. It was 2021, we played the Raiders, right? And that was probably the most frustrating game yeah, I've watched. We made Derek Carr from, look like a fucking from franchise quarterback. And, um, it all changed after the Raiders game. We started running the ball more, and Shane Steichen took the, uh, Shane Steichen took the play call role. Right. We did see an improvement with this team. We saw it, and uh, it definitely made a difference. But we for, started that last year, right? I for mean, Jonathan Gannon, last, yeah. for Jonathan Gannon to say it was his idea for Doug to hand the play calling. You mean which, Sirianni? Well, oh yeah, I'm sorry for Sirianni to take the play calling. Whether it was true or not is out of pocket. Sirianni and the news. Said, no, he went to Sirianni bed. Sirianni said he did it losing. because he needs to be a head coach and have his hand into other stuff. And once he started doing that, we started winning for real. Yep. Once Sirianni, yep. once Sirianni gave the thing to him, I was like, yo. He can like focus just on more stuff of the whole team. Not I agree. Just a leader of men. Yes. A leader of men, you know. Let, and he still has his handprint. Yeah, he still course. has his handprint in every yeah. play that is called. Whether, yeah. whether he's calling the plays or not, he is the one person that every play goes through and has to say, okay. At any time. Definitely now. With yeah. The new OC, yeah. Definitely yeah. Now. At any time, if he doesn't want to run that play he offensively that play. or defensively, Sirianni can say, no, that's not what I want. Because he's an offensive coordinator. Yeah. I'd say one he's thing. He's an offensive coordinator. He respected the hell out of Mahomes. He yeah. respected the hell out of him. Despite the turf. Despite the turf. Went to bed, man. Okay. I, I, I mean, that's a we just we. I Despite mean, the turf. So you're putting some of this on Sirianni. No. I'm putting this on Gannon. I thought you were talking about Sirianni. I thought you were talking about Sirianni. No, 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 I'm not blaming him for the loss. I'm blaming Gannon for the fucking loss. Sirianni's offensive coordinator. Look how many points he scored during the Super Bowl. Well, he respected Mahomes way too much. He, he kept getting these um, wide receivers 10 yards of... I watched the game with you. We didn't okay, no I watched... And you were, you were literally like 20 minutes from me. We were supposed to link up, but we weren't. I no watched pressure. the Super Bowl game no with you. Pressure. At the end of halftime with Mahomes... Holding his ankle. Holding his ankle. We felt good, bro. We, we felt, felt good. good. I, I didn't think he was going to come out. The thing I, I said it's over. I didn't think he was going to come thing out. The thing was, we scored a field goal instead of a touchdown before the second yeah. half. That's, that, that's that, going to hurt us. That was a big That's going to hurt us. We were, were happy. We were happy. We was happy, but we weren't very happy. We were happy. Yeah, we were. We were very but, happy. But bottom line, smoking a cigarette. Y'all want to get introduced to Real Savage Life, the people that are hanging on and the people that are going to watch this in the future. Watch. They're going to talk real quick, and I'll be right back. Keep going. Keep going. Back to the city. Watch. All right, what's your thoughts? Sirianni, I don't, I don't like talking about the Super Bowl. I can't lie. I, 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 yo, I still have yet to watch the game. I have yet to watch the game. I can't bring myself to watch the game. Because it has to be so tight. Y'all got PTSD. I fucking have PTSD. nightmares about the Super Bowl. We were Bowl. in Philly. Yeah, the we Super Bowl. Bowl. We were in Philly. All of, all three of us are in Philly They're watching the Super Bowl around mad other people rooting for the Eagles. Oh, my Bro, God. It was raining that night. Yeah, what? It was pouring yeah. down on the way back. But it was raining that night. And all I wanted to do on that rainy-ass night it's was go run out ah! on Broad Street. I just instead, wanted to run out. Instead, of we had a quiet ride back home. That was the most depressing no, 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 ride of my life. That was I the stayed. most depressing ride at home. I, I, I had no words. I was speechless. Y'all got, I, I get this picture. I was so excited about that. With a cigarette in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> with a cigarette. I got to have my cigarette. I'm sorry. I apologize. Once I get a little frustrated, I got to have the nicotine yeah, to calm me down. I got to have it all the way over Philly. Times was hard that day. Chain smoking, chain smoking. Yo, <laughs> I hope that man. Oh, man. I don't think I'll get over that one. I went live that I night. Think I, 
I actually and, and went and live that night. On despite, the fumble, despite the fumble, the way Jalen Hurts proved that he is our guy. Yeah. He is him. Absolutely. He is I, the hideous him. I despite agree. the fumble. I agree. And the he fumble was big. The fumble was but big. They didn't call that. That, was, that should have been a face mask, but yeah, they didn't call that. I think they didn't call that. After the fumble. It was after. But you know what? Freaking Samalo. Freaking Samalo cost us that drive. But you were on that drive to make a touchdown on that yeah, drive. That Instead of us getting a touchdown, I, we, got, not, we got a field goal on that. I'm not the world's biggest Isaac Samala fan, but I understand he was like an underappreciated player on this team. But he, he cost us a penalty. I, I got to go back and rewatch that. I'll be lying. I know y'all said you guys haven't went back and rewatched it. I just remember. I rewatched I didn't watch it the game. one time, and I wasn't even fully focused because. When we won the Super Bowl, I'm not gonna lie to you. I watched it like 30 fucking times <laughs> in like the first week or two weeks. Yeah. I just kept oh, watching the fucking Super Bowl. Yo, it was the best day. Hey, boo! It was the best day. Fifty minutes watched the highlights of the Super Bowl. Fifty just chilling in the bathroom. Let me watch it. No, no. The NFC Championship game was more more fun. Yeah, hell my. It was more fun because everybody had us written off. That Super Bowl was Minnesota. They had Minnesota. Uh, the NFC Championship was was lit. It was absolutely lit. Hold on, hold on. Did, did Jalen Hurts play better than Foles in the Super Bowl? Which Super Bowl? Ooh, that's a good man. one. Because yeah. Foles. Yeah. Because, yeah. Because, because, as I because, again, the fumble, oh, Jalen Hurts fumble. Hold on, hold on, as I again. Did Who had a better Super Bowl performance, Jalen Hurts or Nick Foles? You got to think about the Russian touchdowns Jalen Hurts caught. Who had Russian a better Super Bowl Regardless, win or loss, win or loss, win or loss, win or loss. That's a really good question. Win or loss. Because... Jalen Hurts got a rushing touchdown too. Nick Foles did the uh, he couple, special. Right? He had a couple of rushes. Oh, you're he had right. a couple. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Jalen um, Foles did. He, have, I'm gonna say Foles. I'm gonna say Foles. I'm gonna say Foles because you know what? Even though he I love Jalen, I am him. I'm Jalen is him. I support Jalen. That's my guy. But Foles won it. Yeah, Foles won it. Yeah, Foles won it. Yeah. Foles won it. At the end of the day, that W Foles is won. what counts, right? That W is what counts. Keep going. Keep going. In 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, that, that was a hell of a Foles needed to just become a coach. Come on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Foles is cooling right now, man. Gotta just become a coach. Man, come, man. come to Philly just become a coach. I'll be forever man. grateful and appreciative what he, what he brought to us, y'all. That's the first, like, one of the, the first yo. NFL jerseys I got. Nick Foles. Nick Foles, man. He was, he's phenomenal. That year. And people only talk about Nick Foles the Super Bowl year. But they forget. But they, 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 yeah, they forget. They forget that Nick the Foles 27-2. 27 27 and one game. That and one touchdown? game. Oh, you're talking about the Raiders. Against the Raiders, right? Chip Kelly I missed pulled, that game. Chip Kelly, so Chip Kelly pulled him out in the end of the third. Yeah, and so then let him break the record. This, I didn't even get to see the game. Oh, so I said, who just came with long hair? I said, we just had like Cobb. Remember, we just had Cobb oh. a year or so ago. I'm like, who is this? Got another white guy that we need to get a brother. I'm like, yo. Once he had that seven touchdown game, I thought I'd never say nothing bad about Nick Foles again. I don't say nothing bad about Nick Foles. Yeah, it's Nicky Six, right? That's there. before Dumbass Chip destroyed the team. I remember the dude Cobb or Knob, whatever Hold that up. dude name is. Chip Kelly <laughs> traded Nick Foles to the St. Louis Rams for fucking. Taylor. And, no, it wasn't just Nick Foles. He also gave them a <laughs> Second round pick. <laughs> he gave them Nick Foles a second round pick to get Sam Bradford from the St. Louis Rams. They were St. Louis then. They were not the LA Rams. We had we went from Nick Foles, Shady McCoy, and Jackson to um Bradford. DeMarco Murray. DeMarco Murray. Who was the wide receiver? Like Matthews is on my Jordan Matthews he was alright. He wasn't all right. What was the, no, he wasn't all right. What was the cowboy? <laughs> Who was the what? Please don't bring up Chip. <laughs> I'm so we got to. Bring we got it. to. It, 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 it's, it's part of the organ. It's part we're of the organ. We're going through the A lot of bad, but it's some good. And he kind of. No. 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 I don't they accept anyone. Remember they used his offense. They I do his not, his not his accept offense. anyone who says everything good came from Chip Kelly. No. That is like thanking your best bad. friend no. who came over and clogged your shitter. 
All right, call your <laughs> toilet, go and then the you call the no, and then you call a plumber, and your plumber, the plumber is Howie Roseman and Doug Peterson. <laughs> take take your pick, and then you call your plumber, and he comes and he fix your toilet. You don't thank your friend, and now your toilet works better. You don't thank your friend and say, "Oh, hey, thanks for clogging my my toilet up, brother." Oh, that's, that's a good analogy. It. That's a it very is. Good analogy. It's the perfect analogy with Chip it's Kelly because so it's not only you. I hear a lot of people who say this. Oh, no Super Bowl without Chip. No, no. Because if can't. we would have had any other head coach hired or any other GM making those exact moves he made, we would not have won a Super Bowl. The Chip Kelly experiment would have been even worse afterwards. No, when look they, at all the coaches when, that were hired. When they when they released the Sean Jackson, I was so tight. I was Shady so man. fucking tight. Sean had me mad. That had me really mad. And then I, I think I was going to the Foot Locker for something. Yeah. And then that's when they told me, oh, did you hear about uh, Nick Foles and Sam Brown? I was like, who? I'll tell you, I was so angry about that one. And then out of nowhere, he trades LaShawn McCoy for I was, uh, Kiko Alonso. This guy is on and off the field, man. This dude's a burglar. Kiko! He, he, he got a burglar. We traded a running back for a burglar. Kiko Alonso, man. Kiko Alonso. Kiko Alonso. I'll never he didn't do it. anything for us. Maybe he got he got that one uh touchback against the Falcons. Other than that, he didn't do anything for us. He didn't do anything for us. No, he did not. He did not. Um, he did near nothing. He didn't do anything. I'll never forget it. I remember telling you this story. I remember I was working, a, I was a printer. I was working in a printing shop, and we were actually doing the ESPN magazine that night, and I was working night shifts. So I that time. Yeah, up in West Beach. <laughs> and um, I'll never forget it. It was raining. It was snowing that night. And I came, I was driving into work, and I just got the NFL, do, 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 you know that You know that NFL notification where there's always something serious that happens? Mm-hmm. And I look, and I'm telling myself, please don't be McCoy. Please don't be McCoy. I heard the rumblings, I heard the rumblings. I scrolled down, then and then the Philadelphia the Eagles trade LaShawn McCoy to the Buffalo Bills for Kiko Alonzo. I was, Bro. I think I'm. I was uh, broke something that I day. I can understand. I think I almost broke something that day. I was so on bad. like another offensive so player. I think I almost broke but something. Kiko Alonzo. Kiko Alonzo. For Shady at that time. Shady was Shady. Sean McCoy. Shady was Shady at that time. Shady and he got shady. another thousand yard right. season after. He still had another thousand yard season. Shady was season. Shady after that. Yeah, he got a couple few injuries and stuff like that. But no, the thing was, was with Chip, with Chip, he valued scheme over talent. Yeah, that's he, what his he that's, valued his ego. He yeah, valued. yeah, he did. But that's what he felt like. I'm on. He thought it's my locker room. My just, team, he thought he thought like, Marco. No. The Mar- he used the Marco. You know those. Su- you know those Sunday night intros, like when they show the players like coming out with the dance yeah, yeah. music and all that. Chip wanted to be the guy coming out on the Sunday night football intro. Wait all day for Sunday night. Yo, Chip wanted to I, come I, I, out you know, like you know, this. You know, I, 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 this I, thing. I was hoping he was going to stay the coast for the 49ers long enough for him to come to Philly. <laughs> I was really I hoping God, San Francisco he, was going to be I forgot that they gave him the 49ers. Cause, no, uh, we fired him. He went to San Francisco. I forgot. I was that. hoping he would still be on San Francisco so we could throw his ass out of the damn stadium. I probably would have threw his ass to a damn it, break. It, it kind of is not, it's not even about his scheme and all that. It's just about him as a person. It was his like scheme. But he's good as an offensive quarter. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's a okay offensive quarter. I, yeah, I, but I, that's I hear you. Coach. I hear you, John. He's saying he's, he wants to talk about the field. John John Kaufman on the good. the field in the Super Bowl. How do you feel about it? The one picture I remember during I can't the Super say. Bowl is Jalen Hurts, the confetti coming down, right? And Jalen Hurts walking, and then on the stand is like eighty pairs of cleats, even cleats, cleats on the stand. Cleats. People ch- changing their shoes like I want to say the turf, but everybody's, everybody's trying to say, "Oh, y'all making it." It wasn't Jesus. turf. It's grass. Remember, Arizona's grass. Listen, I understand. That's not crazy because we beat the Cardinals in that field. He changed it. He changed it. I understand both teams played on the same field, but why was it only the Eagles that changed all their cleats and still kept slipping? We couldn't generate one sack on him. I get it. And 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 I understand People say the same thing. The Chiefs the side didn't have all the cleats and going crazy and all that. I don't understand why the Eagles side. And, all the and Mahomes was just like, technical back there in that pocket. He got rid of the ball real fast. Did he? 
Real quick, the run, the run is what killed us. That like fifty yard runny, forty yard run he had at the end of the game that got him in field goal range. That's what killed us, yo. We had him. It was like third down. We had no, him. I the like, freaking yeah. hold on Jake no, Bradbury. Before that, before no, that, the hold. Before I don't even want to get in the hold because yeah. you're gonna see me act the whole ass on here. All right. I will always say yes. The field played a factor. Both teams played in the, on the same field. Whatever. We gotta figure it out. That hold you could call every fucking game, okay? The hold should not have been called. The pass was, was it not catch- the catchable. Ball. There was only, they could have scored a touchdown there. They could have scored a touchdown. And guess what? We still could have had a chance to come back and win the damn game. But you know what? There was only one thing, one thing that could completely, almost, I'm talking about 98%, Take us out of the equation of winning that game. And it was the hold. Yes, I get it. There's a tub on the jersey. But the James ball wasn't catchable. It was not catchable. That's the, that's and they were letting them do that all game. All game. But they, the they, they should have called they should have called, they should have called illegal hands to the face on the line with Josh Sweat. That whole that same play. They didn't call that. No. No, they didn't. They're right. They're I right. was They're right. No illegal hand to the face now. That, that I thought he, me right I now. thought he grabbed him. He didn't really hold him. I thought he grabbed him. I didn't think he really did. Did he him. make it so that guy could not could catch that move? pass? It was I the think ball was not catchable. Oh. That pass was not catchable. Oh. It was not from the moment it left his hands. Because they ran not. like he ran, and then like they stopped and chopped their feet. The ref, I feel like the ref thought like it's the defender's fault that he stopped. No, he stopped because he was. They should even call the face mask on um, Hurts when when they fumbled the ball. That should have been a face mask right there yeah. too. But it, they it came that. up. It came a little we bit let him come back. We shouldn't have let him come back. Fred Francesca, I love these guys. Thank you. We appreciate that. Hey, yo, Phil we appreciate that. that. Appreciate that. We got it. We got it set up. We got it set up and. Uh, we know this is a rough draft. You know what I'm saying? This is our first time going live, and uh, we're going to be on multi-platinum form. We Everything look work better. with us, and we're going to keep coming we'll back mics. at y'all. We're going to have better mics. Everything. You can really hear it we, better. We, uh, we, uh, we appreciate the support. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Like, subscribe, <laughs> All right. comment. So with that being said, let's talk about our one of our last segments here. Let's talk about the upcoming season. We got to start, let's stop talking about the past. We got a whole new season coming up. We just lost the Super Bowl in heartbreaking fashion. Yeah. Heartbreaking fashion. Yeah. Well, are right. we going are we, are we to compete for another ring this year, guys? Of course. Shoot, the only, I will admit, the only teams that are that kind of worry me, I would have to say the Cowboys. Cowboys, yeah. And maybe the 49ers. I might, I got, but I don't, I don't trust them Brock Purdy. The defense is good. I'm the actually, defense is scary good, but I do not trust Brock Perry. He's, he's but, yeah, no, I get it, and I'm not big on the, the 49ers. I don't I, – listen, I you heard me earlier. I don't wish injury on nobody. Any player can get hurt. I'm not wishing injury on any player on the San Francisco 49ers. But I will be lying to you if I said – I don't feel confident that Kish, that Christian McCaffrey is going to finish the whole season like he did last year. Because if you look at the past that record, boy, he gets nasty. hurt every he's other nasty. year. He's nasty. But is Christian McCaffrey going to stay healthy? No. Then is Brock Purdy going to stay healthy and be on the same level that he was? No. No. Absolutely not. So then who are they going to depend on? Sam Darnold? And what? And is Carl Brock Purdy a franchise Get why they got rid of, uh, what's, that, what's that guy named? Trey Lance. Tra- why would you th- get rid of him? Dumb. That was very stupid. I would have gave him one more chance. I, they gave up on him too quick. I honestly, honestly, they gave up normally quick. I would agree. But I will say this. I bet, I forget which game it was. I want to say it was the 49ers playing the uh, Seahawks early in last year, right, exhibition game, and I had money on it, and I actually took Trey Lance for like 200 alt yards on my parlay. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you I've never been more confident that a player just doesn't have it, I kind of felt that way when I was watching Trey Lance. Now, that's not to say you he say might that, not hurts. grow into what No, no, no. I never felt that would hurt. No, it A hurts. lot of people did. I felt when he was two and five, no, two years I ago, didn't feel everybody that would hurt. said that. Dude, not me. No, I'm not, not saying me. You. I'm not oh, saying you know what? Uh, I've been on the hurt train since we yeah. drafted him. Yeah, he hated when I'm not saying him, though. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be real honest. I wasn't on board drafting him. I was kind of mad. 
But then again, as soon as I he was furious. No, no, no. Listen, no, I wasn't he was mad. Boy. I wasn't mad he that we got hurt. I was mad at what round we got hurt, and we didn't get people but to help Carson win. Hurts wasn't hurt. making it to the But the more Hurts was not making it to the third round. But the more I thought about it, I looked at Carson Wentz as injury history. Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that Carson Wentz was in the first round. Yeah, but the more I thought about it, I looked at Carson Wentz as injury history. Yeah, but the more I thought about it, I looked at Carson Wentz as injury history. Yeah, but the more I thought about it, I looked at Carson Wentz as injury history. Yeah, but the more I thought about it, I looked at Carson Wentz as injury history. Yeah, but the more I thought about it, I looked at Carson Wentz as injury history. Yeah, but the more I thought about it, I looked at Carson Wentz as injury history. Yeah, but the more I thought about it, I looked at Carson Wentz as injury history. Yeah, but the more I thought about it, I looked at Carson Wentz as injury history. Yeah, but the more I thought about it, I looked at Carson Wentz as injury history. Yeah, but the more I thought about it, I looked at Carson Wentz as injury history. Yeah, my thing with Carson was this. What I gave up on Carson was once they they sat him. 2018 season, right? And I was a big Carson Wentz fan before. Yeah. Like, I was actually screaming. Yeah, we won the Super Bowl. Yeah, I was actually screaming trade Foles after we won the Super Bowl. I was because I knew Foles' value you know, was so high. Which was going to get better. We I all did. Know, which was gonna I know. Think about it. If, if Alshon Jeffrey caught that pass and, against the Saints, It'll be a totally different conversation right now. Sure. My my issue became with Carson was once we pulled him. Room. Do you remember 2018 before Carson got benched? We were not going to make the playoffs. Do you not remember? We had to win every fucking game. And we played good teams. We played, Houston was good. The Rams were good. Nikki Foles, we were a 14-point underdog, came in against the L.A. Rams, who were the number one team in the NFC, and won us. I won $800 on that you team. You won the Super Bowl? No, no, no. The next year. Oh, you know what? The next year. Carson got hurt at the end of the year. No, Carson got hurt at the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 All the receivers started playing better. All the running backs started playing better. The offensive line started blocking that's because, better. That's because he held the Zach ball. Ertz was his favorite target. And yeah, he held on to the ball. He favored him. Wentz held on to the ball. But Foles would still throw to Ertz. It's not like Foles But Bowles he made the ball. line look bad. Foles spread the ball around. Carson did not do that. He gave it to AJ. Wentz would make the line look bad. But yeah, he would make the line look bad. He would make people look bad. We'd be like, why do you get all these sacks? Hey, Francesca, it's okay. They Wait, both were no, no, no. But the thing is, most were cautious. He was, I he, was he, a he big to, He tried to play ball all the damn time. Yeah, At he least much. if you're gonna get, he didn't want to get sacked last year. He didn't want to get sacked. Yeah. Throw, the ball, throw the, the ball, throw the ball away out of harm's way. He didn't do any of that. Like, bro, stop holding. Always the ball. diving. So what when team? Stop- what team could you see drafting? Or I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not drafting. But what team could you see signing Carson Wentz midseason? The, the Jacksonville Chiefs? Uh, Jaguars. No, no. you think Doug Peterson would bring yeah, Carson Wentz? I want to say. I want to say they don't get along though. That's a they were never. That's you see the picture. They never seen that. They, they, they ain't speak for weeks. Yeah, they don't. They don't football. fuck with each other like that. Dougie just got rid of his son. It's a football. Oh, that's gonna be awkward. Who is who? They gonna pick like a random right black quarterback that could just run? No, I don't care. Do you want to have Johnson? Don't don't care. I want to. I want to say. I want to say the Chiefs. You can't play the color thing with Doug. I want. I want to say the Chiefs. He puts the Chiefs are gonna pick him. I think the Chiefs are gonna pick him. Doug was a big. Doug was a big I can see the Chiefs picking. I can see the Chiefs picking up Carson. You're right. The Chiefs. I can see because Andy Reid is Andy Reid. But Andy Reid got exposed. Yep. The enemy was not there Thursday night. Going four, fourth and twenty-five. Put the ball. Why would you do that? Why don't that make for you to? He, he's Andy Reid. They gonna be in the playoffs. They don't care. That's how cocky they are. <laughs> yeah, but they're not. I don't even. So we're not gonna win this one, but we gonna they, we gonna win more. They're missing two we gonna of their top more. three players. They missed two of the top three players. Only lost by one point. But yeah, he needed the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 Definitely needed the enemy that game. He needed um, Travis Kelsey back. Travis Kelsey hurt. Hey. Travis Kelsey killed us during the Super Bowl. Shut up! That I don't want to keep talking about Ray Lewis. That white boy was killing us. Yo, that he was, was killing so CJ. Uh, was he that. was killing us. Yeah, he was killing us. <laughs> It's okay. It probably won't get picked up. But show with the, the racial undertone. Just because we're on Facebook, guys, we gotta stay. We, you know, we could get savage, and we will. We'll we'll start putting these on our YouTube and our Instagram and Twitters. Also, I'm ready. we really appreciate you guys rocking with us. We're gonna give y'all about another 10, 15 minutes or so. Pure savage talk. We appreciate all the love, all the views, all the comments, the reactions, the hard things, and. Like, like we said, we're going to keep coming at y'all. We're going to be on here Wednesday night before the other one. And we are going to be over here tomorrow watching the game. So you might get an angry or you might get a hot, happy podcast 
after the game tomorrow. Who knows, right? I think we got it. Definitely going to be happy. I think we're going to be on tomorrow. So what's the final score prediction for tomorrow? Not going to be a score prediction. No, okay. yeah. And remember, it's going to be rainy. It's going to be they, the possible thunderstorms during the game. 425 no, in yeah. Foxborough. It's in Foxborough. Well, it's in Fox, it's in Fox, Yeah, it's Foxborough. It's, yeah, we're in Foxborough. It's... <laughs> it's oh, you gotta put it in Foxborough, Massachusetts. I want to say Eagles twenty-seven, Patriots fourteen. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say Patriots seventeen, Eagles twenty-four. I don't think it's gonna be a high score. It's not game. gonna be a blowout. I think it's I think by third, I think by third 14. or fourth quarter we'll start to run away with it. I see a little bit of starting slow. Because no preseason for the starters. It's going to be rainy. It's going to be a little messy out there. I can see I'm, a slow start. So how many sacks you think uh, Carter will get tomorrow? Carter? I, he might get one. No, no, I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna, gonna say. I'm not gonna say he's gonna get multiple. You know, Carter's still a rookie. Yeah. I think they're gonna ease him in. But like I said, it's gonna be growing pains. Our defense to definitely growth. gets exposed a little bit this year because we don't have the players we had last year. Yeah, we, yeah, did, we, did, we did lose We're missing five, three, no, five, five starters yeah. total on defense. So we are starting this year with five with new both. starters on we defense. We have to score a lot more than we did like, even more, probably. I'll tell you what, though, is I, I, I feel okay with that. With DeAndre Swift, Kenneth Gainwell, Rashad Penny, Boston Scott, A.J. Brown, uh, Devontae. Devontae Smith, I forget. I can't. Boy, so Goddard, now the, new Goddard, Goddard, the new guy. The new guy. The new guy. I can't even yeah, say his name. The the Albert O. Albert O. That's what we're going to no, call no, no, that's, that, no, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the, the receiver we got from the Atlanta Falcons. I can't. Uh, yeah. I oh, can't oh, man. It's well, so he's our, we only have four receivers. And he's our fourth guy. There's Quez Watkins at number three. Yeah, and then there's that guy we got from the Falcons. Apologize. Just don't put the Bar as a punt returner. Don't do that. Please don't do that. No, no, other than the, I the Falcons the Super Bowl. I would have done the, the Fal- Super Bowl. The guy for the Falcons is our punt returner. And then um, Boston Scott is the kick returner. No, I think they put um, Rashad Penny as a punt returner. Yeah. No, they have it on the death chart. The punt really? returner, okay. yeah. Okay. Is the I, guy. I didn't, I'm not yeah. saying it wrong or, or right. The I'm kick returner is Boston Scott. I'm going to take it on face value. And then the guy from the um, Falcons is our, um, our thing. Because Cubby's gone. Yes. Oh my coming. No, you know what they signed him to the practice squad, though. Yo, we need to use Devin Allen as a punter. But he's on the practice squad, but they didn't say they don't have it. I'm tired of hearing about the fastest guy in the NFL. Yeah, because we ain't using him. We ain't doing nothing with the fastest guy. Use him as a punter. Yeah, he's not a way to. If you could give Cuffy all that last year, you can come on. Right? That's that's one. I will say that's a, my biggest concern. Is the special team. I guess. I think we got. I think we're gonna be good. Right? I don't Cubby. know, man. Not That's Cubby. the only weakness I see. It's not Covey. It's not Covey. So anything but Covey did tear the word ever. And so anything better than last year, we did so bad. Covey would get hit, and you would see his soul. <laughs> you would see his soul <laughs> leaving his body. Crash dummy Covey. Crash dummy Covey. Crash dummy Covey. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> he would just go just flying. Like, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you just knew. Out. You just knew when you saw him little yeah. running up and just mah. Get the punt. Get the punt and just be like, so like, how many times are you gonna get hit this time on this punt? Where are they gonna? No, no, really no field there? vision. No None. Field vision. Vision. None. He did a good. He didn't fumble though. Right, he didn't but he didn't fumble. But he, 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 but he, he did get me nervous. <laughs> he did make me nervous a couple times. He, but at least he, he wasn't he like. Hold on to the ball. At least he wasn't like Jalen Rager. Oh my the one God. in the playoffs against the Buccaneers that year. <laughs> oh, we're oh, playing against Jalen Wager. We're God. playing against Jalen yeah. Wager. They said it was going to be his comeback game. Yeah, we're playing it was going to be his game. comeback game. Juju, no, I wanted Juju Smith Schuster, man. That man was I don't want to hear him. Oh, F Juju. Yeah. F Juju. I don't want to hear him. He been talking out his ass. I don't need his mouth. They all, but they have room to talk because they did win. But come on, yo. Yeah, act like you got number one receivers and crap. Like you had a trillion yards. <laughs> Like you had 200 yards during the Super Bowl or something like that. Yeah, I did all right though. Y'all won. He congratulated him, but he still want to run his mouth. Yeah. All right. Well, go get close here to the nitty gritty, man. We appreciate you guys tuning in, honestly. And don't be surprised if you don't see us and maybe a couple others pop up tomorrow after the game or before the game. You know, we're going to be in here and we're going to be a normal fixture here, all right? We appreciate y'all rocking with us. Like for the first stream, 
Y'all y'all definitely showed out. Y'all came. I see the shares. I see the, the all the comments y'all done put in here. And uh, we appreciate you guys. If you want to uh, cop this coffee mug here, if I don't drink coffee in the morning, I'm pissed off. If you don't want to drink, if you want to cop this shirt that's game, boop, you with Nick Sirianni or a bunch <laughs> other, check out the Shopify link in the store. And as normal, we're going to keep coming with the content with y'all. Savage Nation, thank you guys so much for showing up and showing us love. Y'all got anything to say? Come on, let's go. Let's Little go. Eagles, follow me. Fly Ayo, Eagles, Philly Eagles. Boy 17. We about to whip up on the Revenge Patriots tour starts tomorrow. tomorrow. Revenge tour. Starts 31, tomorrow. 31, 14. We're going to get it. We're going to get one. We got, we got, before we get off, before we get off here, we got to give y'all the e, the Eagles chat. All right, one, one, two, three. E-A-G-L-E-S.